All right, so the one mic them first and foremost, I want to give all praise and then glory to you. I would like to give double honors to the pastor elders of Great Millstone. Let us say shalom to the elect that teaches word in all true faith and sincerity. And yet, today I just want to get into a lesson on how we come into a great persecution, man. You know, it's going to be a time where you're going to see the private space on the news, you know, uh, on the most wanted list, which we already already on the most wanted list you know that you know um pretty much we're really on that kill list man you know but it's gonna be a point of time when you're gonna yeah you know i mean just a regular old local news abc 3340 uh five six or whatever the case may be and you know you're gonna be demonized man you know if you if you uh, uh took it on took it upon yourself to call yourself an israelite well we're coming to a time where that's gonna be the uh, the new the new boogeyman, man. Matter of fact, because this that was part of the um. Let's see. Yep, this is uh Saint Matthew five and ten. It said, "Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake." See, and yeah, we being persecuted for righteousness' sake, man. Even now, man, on the, on the uh, just look at this nigga vocab, this nigga gathering information. You know, because it is going to be a point in time you see this man on CNN with that damn Kango hat explaining you the uh, the beliefs of the uh, Hebrew Israelism, so-called Hebrew Israelism. And, and, and he's going to put in a bad light, man. You know? He's going to slander the whole city, man. You know? And this is this, this, the only way this devil can find some type of way to justify himself, you know what I mean, of rolling on us, man. You know, so it said, blessed are they which uh, are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And, and what we really doing, man? We just preaching the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. We coming out to the scriptures and telling you what it is, man. Which, this what we doing is really a form of treason, man. This actually a, a really is high level treason that we doing, man. You know, and this devil know he can't really touch us, man, because uh, the, the book of uh, Psalms. 105, that was a commandment. It said, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. But as this word continue to get pushed out, as each day go by, this man know he's running out of time. And he got to do something about it, man. You know? It says, blessed are ye when men shall revile you, see, and persecute you, and say, say and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake, see? And that's what, that's, and that's what they going to do, man. They're gonna they're gonna give out an evil report, man. You know, just like you got these different compilations of video uh they try to uh uh you know put the prophets in a bad light. Hey, we just tell you what the scriptures say, man. We speaking the words of Yahweh by Shema We ain't going into our own vain opinion. And just like this nigga vocab, he wanna pull out uh yeah, you gonna kill Edomite babies, this and that. What the scriptures say, man. We ain't just pour that out of our ass, man. You know? But this is going to come on a major scale. This is, you, you know, going to have men on the news. Like I said, you're going to be, they're going to be on their most wanted list. They're going to be playing videos, playing your videos on the on the, on the, on the news, man. You know? Well, that's the time we coming into, you know? Because this man, he don't he don't want you to uh, be there in the midst, you know, of society while he's getting, getting this chip going. He wants you to be... Out of here when that when he implements this chip, man. You know, he don't want to, uh, cause you know, bro, you know, it'll set up count right by the chip station. And say, hey, that's the mark of the beast, man. See, that man don't want that, man. You know, matter of fact, cause it tells, cause really before all this hell coming, which we already here and we in the beginning stages, but when everything hit full blown, hey, it tells you, let's see. Yep, this is um. St. Luke 10, and uh, it's like St. Saint Luke 21, I'm going to start at verse 10. It said, Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall that be from heaven. See, and this, ain't we in the beginning stages of that, man? You know, we in the beginning stages of this famine, 
you know, the, the, this pestilence. Because the coronavirus, this is just the first stage right here, man. Other the, the, we coming to the next phase of the coronavirus. And there's going to be other plays and pestilence that, hey, it's going to be y'all by Shema Shah that's going to do it. That's why it tells you Isaiah the 47 chapter, you shall know whence with, with these things come. Because this devil, even though it's, it's like I said, he's, he's making chaos, but it's a controlled chaos. Well, guess what? It's gonna be a it's gonna be a point of time. Esau is not gonna be able to control that chaos, man. It's gonna get out of hand, you know. So it says, but before all these, they shall lay their hands on you, see, and persecute you, and deliver you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, yeah, for preaching the words of Yahweh Shemel and Shai. So before all these things fully blossom, you know, they gonna they gonna try to come get up, man. Why? Because we, this is going to be a detriment unto their plans, man. You know, to their, um, like I said, you end up setting up camp by a damn a chipping station, man. Bringing out, hey, you know, that's so like it. You're going to be, um, you know, pulling that mark of the beast scriptures, man. By the chip station, man. See, this devil don't want that, man. So we he's going to win the stages where this man is gathering all this information. That's why vocab has been going hard about it, man. You know? Why? Because he know that uh, this is in the best interest of the elites, man. You know? So see, so before all these things, that, uh, that's when it's going to happen. Matter of fact, I'm telling you on. Matter of fact, it said, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it, therefore, in your hearts not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom. Which your adversary should not be able to gain, see, nor resist. And yeah, man, and, and meaning what? We're going to be, we're going to put the spirit on us to cuss these devils out, man. It's going to be a spiritual cussing out, man. And it's going to be scriptural, man. And what I see, he's going to give us that mouth and wisdom, man. So it's going to be according to his words, man. You know? It's going to be according to the words of the house by the smell shot. We're going to be cussing these devils out. But as you can see, before all these things fully blossom, you know, these devils gonna gonna um persecute us, man. Gonna slander us, give us that bad you know, that bad report, man. You know, because it's a it's a list, the red, black, the blue, the yellow list. Well they know who to kill, man. They know who to just completely get rid of. Ain't no rehabilitating them, man. You know, though I said, matter of fact, let's go back to um St. Matthew five and um I start at 10 again said, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. See? And all that we're doing is teaching the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah. And they, look, they, they know that we're stubborn in righteousness. You know, that we're not going to uh, comply to this man and his sister, man. That's why, what about the, look at the three holy children? We're not too careful to answer this in this manner, man. They, they wasn't shining away to let Nebuchadnezzar know he went with, they went with it, man. You know? Same thing now. It says, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. See? For the words of Yahweh by your mouth shot. It said, Rejoice and be glad. It's seed and glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you. So we in that same light, man. You know? And like I said, we we pretty much, we doing teaching these words of Yahweh by your mouth shot or preaching another kingdom. <laughs> Same thing happened back in Rome. Guess what? They're gonna persecute us, man. You know, and we we stand in the same light. All the prophets, matter of fact, let's get some real quick. Cause we ain't we ain't teaching and preaching the, the um the welfare of the place. We telling these, we telling everybody this place is going down in a in, in a violent manner. At that, it's not gonna be a smooth transition. We through the words, and power, and spirit, power, y'all by some outside. You know, because that's what the word is. Just speaking the words of Yahweh by Shem al We're saying that this place is going out in a violent manner, man. All the way up to the build-up is going in a violent manner, man. You know, so this is, I'm going to start at the top of Jeremiah 38 and 1. It said then, Shapath, Shapathia, the son of Matan, Matan, and Gedaliah, the son of Peshur, and Jukal, the son of Shemakah, Shelemiah, Shil and Peshur, the son of Malchiah heard the words that Jeremiah had spoken unto all the people, saying, See, thus saith the Lord, 
He that remaineth in the city shall die by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. See? And that's what we're doing, man. We're saying it's the same message, man. It's the same message, man. You know? It says, But he that goeth forth to the Chaldean shall live, for he shall have his life for a prey and shall live. And thus saith the Lord. And don't we get this word? See, thus saith the Lord. That's why we get this scripture. We get that scripture. To back up the, the statement, man. And, it, and we in that time where the, the word is now being spoken, man. You know? It says, Thus saith the Lord, This city sh shall surely be given to the hand of the king of Babylon's army, which shall take it. See? And we saying it pretty much right about way. We saying America is finna be taken by the Lord, man. You know? And really this whole system as a whole, the Lord's finna take this place down. And the power is finna be transferred, man. You know, it said, therefore, the princess said unto the king, we beseech thee, let this man be put to death. See, and that's, and that's what these devils want, man. They want us dead, man. It says, for thus he weakened up the hands of men of war that remaineth in this city. And these, these devils, they're scared, but they're proud because with everything we're speaking on, they see it. They actually see uh, uh, physical things, tangible things. They know about the angels in heaven, man. The host of uh, the heaven army, man. You know, that's why, why you think they got a space force? They actually, they actually witness the, witnessing these things. And their hands are weakened, man. These devils really spook for real, man. But they proud. They, they ain't got no choice. Tell you that they pride can pass by as a chain. So they, they really, they brown by pride, man. You know? So it says, uh, For thus he weakened the hands of the, of the men of war that remained in the city. And... In the hands of all the people, and speaking such words unto them, for this man speaketh not the welfare of this people, but the hurt. And that's what we doing, man. We telling that this place is going down, man. Ain't no oh, it tells you Ezekiel the seventh chapter, evil and only evil is come. See, the Lord had we gave us that the Lord give, have given us the job to relay the bad news, man. You know, and that's that's always the person. Who you want to take your anger out? Ain't, ain't like I'm the one that's doing it. It's the Lord that's, going, that's doing it. You know, we're just the one that's relaying the message, man. And they want to kill the messenger, man. You know? But as you can see, these were Jake, man, that did this, man. You know, that, that, that um, you know, <clears throat> came and, won, and, and, and conspired um, to um, give Jeremiah over, man. You know? But as you can see, that was that was that was treason right there, man. And that's the same thing that they're gonna play now, man. The uh, so-called domestic terrorism. But as you when you watch these videos, you see that every, it made too much sense, man. It made too much sense, man. You know. But this devil, he gotta put it in a bad light. You know. It, it's not like every time you ever seen a uh, uh, a compilation of Hebrew Israelite videos that's putting in a bad light. You don't see the part where they bring the scripture out. You don't see that. You don't see the part when they first open up and, yeah, you know I mean, the first scripture come out and this and no, they don't. You don't see that, man. You see everything that's being put in a bad light. Matter of fact, it tell you that in Sirach twenty seven. Let's see what it's saying. This Sirach twenty seven. And um, this Sirach twenty seven and um. I started at 22. It said, He that winketh with the eyes work of evil, and he that know of him will depart from him. See? And that's why we, we, we totally uh, we stay as far away as we can from Esau, man. Eat him, man. It says, when, then, when thou art present, he will speak sweetly and will admire thy words. And yeah, you can have a devil. Uh, and that's why yo, sometimes your yo, yo page stay up for a minute, man. You know, he want that page to stay up. Why? Because he is a sinister plan. By behind everything that seen beneficial that this devil do is a sinister plan behind everything this man do. It says he said he will speak sweetly and will admire thy words, but at the last he will write with his mouth and slander thy sand. See, then he take a snippet from your clip from your video. Yeah, you know I mean. To put it out there to what slander you put you in a bad light, man. You know? 
He said, I have hated many things, but nothing like him, for the Lord will hate him. And we know that's talking about the Edomites, man. Because this this is the one that's uh who has the most to lose from all of this, man. Is this devil, man. And he know he's gonna lose everything. So he gotta do everything in his power to uh to uh uh you know stop this word, man. You know, matter of fact, we're going back to that slander. Um <clears throat> Sirach 26, yep. And um verse 5, it said, There be three things that my heart feareth, and the fourth I was so afraid. The slander of a city, see, and that's what you're gonna have, man. The slander of a city, man. You know, the gather gathering together of an unruly multitude, and that's what's gonna result to, man. Them demonizing us, putting us at the boogeyman so they can have all right to compare us about with his, with his armies, man. You know, kicking in your door, you know, uh, throwing you to these concentration camps, or just, oh, or just killing you off top, man. Yeah, ain't, ain't like everybody gonna have the luxury of going into a concentration camp. Hey, you might just, they might just kick in your door and, and, and it's nothing but headshots, man. You know? It said, in a false accusation, all these are worse than death. See, a false accusation, because these devils gonna lie too, man. You know? This is the time we're coming into. It's not like we're gonna be just teaching, then the chariots come, man. No, what we teaching is, is is really hurting this devil, man. And he know that, man. And he's going to get to a point where he's going to have to get physical, man. He's going to get to a point where we're we going to have to, you know, the Lord set us up. Some of us are going to escape, you know. You know, we're going to have to be off the grid, man. You know? Matter of fact. Because they know, like I said, the slander of a city. And guess what? They know that they said us building up this third temple, this spiritual, this spiritual house, is... It, 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 is to their hurt, man. So I'm gonna end it off. I think it's the fourth chapter. Let's see. Bear with me. Yup, this is um. Yup, this is um. Yup, this is um. Ezra four. And. And um, I started at Elam, and this is a report that these these Elamites, you know, these heathen nations, pretty much wrote to Xerxes about uh, us building this third temple, man. That is a bad idea, you know. And that's why it's gonna get to. And how we doing it now? By the way, of us teaching. That's why you got these all these YouTube videos out, man. That's why you got us on the highways and hedges. You know, it's gonna be a point of time where this man is gonna has gonna have to cut this off, man. You know? Why? Because he know that this is to his detriment. You know, it says this, Ezra 4 and 11, it said, This is the copy of the letter that they sent unto him, even to Anaxerxes the king, thy servants, the men on this side of the river, at such a time, be it known unto the king that the Jews which came up from thee to us are come unto Jerusalem, building the rebellious and bad city. See? And have set up the walls thereof and joined the foundation. See? And why I say rebellious and bad city, meaning what we're not going to conform to their ways. We're not we're not for this system, man. We're not for none that this man is for, man. That's why we are stubborn and righteousness, man. You know? It said, Be it now known unto the king that if this city be built and the walls set up again, then will they not pay toll, tribute, and custom. And so thou shalt and damage the revenues of the king. See? And we see that now, us repenting. See, repentance is a is a is a weapon in itself, man. Why? Because if you repent, your how about your mouth is gonna fight for you, man. You know, you read that about that council in Judah the fifth chapter, man. They actually hurt these other nations when we repent, man. You know, and it says it's gonna hurt the revenue, it's gonna damage the revenue of the king. You know, you seeing some all of a sudden you gotta drop off of damn Newports. Nobody ain't buying Newports like they used to. You know I mean? You still got some of the niggas. But it's a cluster of grapes that the Lord said to himself, man. And you're going to have Jake that's going to repent, man. That's going to uh, flee from Babylon spiritually, man. You know? You're not buying into everything no more, man. You know why? Because we, we, we building this city. This this is why our time is, is, uh, is going to. 
you know. It said, now because we have maintenance from the king's palace, and it was not me for us to see the king's dishonor, therefore we have sent and certified the king. It said that we may, that search may be made in the book of the records of thy fathers, so that so shall thou find in the book of the records, and know that this city is a rebellious city, and hurtful unto kings and provinces, and they shall have moved sedition with the same old time, for which cause this city was destroyed. So it's it's saying that this city, if it, if this city get built, that's gonna be hurtful unto the kings, man. Why? Because it, because guess what? It is is one or the other. Either Israel is gonna be on top, or we are gonna be on bottom, man. And as you can see, the Lord, we're in the process of us getting exalted, and this devil being a base. So he got to do something to to stop this, man. You know. He got to do something to stop this word. Because it's, it's, it's this word that's doing this, man. It's this word that's that's um that's, that's doing all this, man. This is how about smell shot manifesting himself on the planet Earth by the way of these events. We speaking these things into existence, man. Through the spirit power, how about Shemel Shot. So this man know that this is not for his benefit, man. This is his detriment. So he's gonna do everything in his power to stop this, man. You know? So yeah, I can I just hold the edify I'm gonna give all praise and glory to you. How about Shemel Shah, Bashim and Kakodash? Double honor to the Pastor Elders, a great millstone, Shalom to the elect that teaches word in our true favor sincerity, DTA, Abba Baba.